Hi there, I'm Johnny Zielinski and welcome to another episode of the Leadership Talk Show where we find out what makes our employees tick on and off the clock. Joining me today is Happy Andijo. He is a staff accountant at the Vested Group. How are you doing, Happy? I'm doing well. Awesome. I appreciate you taking some time to come out here and talk with me. Uh, Hillary won't be joining us today, so I will be taking this interview solo. So just be a little one-on-one with us. And I think that'll be totally okay. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> All right. So, Happy, uh, starting off, how did you uh, how did you wind up at TVG? Oh, funny story. Uh, my friend is the one who's supposed to be in my position, right? Um, so he applied first. And uh, in the midst of him ap applying, he received another opportunity, right? Uh, fortunately, uh, unfortunately for him, right? <laughs> fortunately for me, <laughs> uh, he passed that. He passed a message along with I um, mean, he, he sent a message to me and said, "Hey, you know, I was applying to this uh, vested group. He didn't even know what the company was, right? Yeah. Um, and he said, you know, give it a try. See if they, you know, take you in, and then." You know, that's how I heard about, you know, the Vested Group and, you know, the rest is history. And Being, you both had accounting backgrounds? Yes, sir. We actually went to the same school. Really? Yeah, we went to the same school, uh, played in the same soccer team. And so we kind of been, we've basically had the same path. We've been taking the same path until the Vested Group. And who did you talk to? Was it Jennifer that was? Uh, J yeah, Jennifer. Yeah. yeah. That's that's too funny. Well, we didn't have each other's backs for sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so go ahead and tell me about your family and like uh, siblings and parents and where you grew up. Yeah, I, I was born in Tanzania. Uh, it's a country located in East Africa okay. um, in a small village called actually a refugee camp called Lukole. Uh, came here in the state when I was 10. Um, I'm the oldest of four. Uh, I grew up in a, in a very religious family. Okay. Uh, so I have a um, the back, my background is I'm very religious, um, and so yeah, I mean it was a, a, a very fun, fun uh, childhood. I would say. Yeah, it sounds very interesting. It's definitely a unique answer for as far as people we've had on the show. Yeah. Um, your siblings, how old are they? Uh, my, my brother is 21. Uh, the other one, the other si I have three sisters, so 17, uh, 17, 13, and then 10. It must be fun. Are they also in the States or? Yeah, they're in the States. Everybody's here? Except my grandmother. So my mom's mom is back home. Back home? Yep. And you, I think we were talking about this the other day. You were talking about maybe potentially going to go visit her? Yeah, I'm excited, man. I haven't seen her in 13 years, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I mean, I've, I've, sp I've spoken to her via FaceTime. Not via FaceTime, video call, right? Yeah. And she was like, I can't even recognize you. Because the last time I've seen her, I was nine oh my gosh um and so you gotta think i, I was i lived in a refugee camp right yeah. so I, it wasn't even my parents country where i was because they were were escaping war and so she would come visit once in a while even when i was in africa because she lived in a different country yeah and so i i barely see her you know and and now it's been 13 years and she looks at me and she said oh my god i mean i cannot even recognize really? can't even recognize you I, that's just that's just insane i can't even imagine you know like what yeah. that must be like oh definitely man. one of our more unique stories as far as background yeah. on the show I, I imagine we're gonna have quite a few of those answers um just with that to start you know so, yeah <laughs> um so you're a staff account at the best degree but how would you describe like what you do on a day-to-day -day basis to simply put if i was describing it to a kid mm -hmm. i would say that i record money that we spend and money that comes in, right? Mm -hmm. And so I'm making journal entries, looking at the balance sheet, right? And and the expense report, like if an employee goes out to eat, say you go out to eat, uh -huh. you you know, you, you make a, an expense report, I go in and say, did you actually go eat here during business hours? Why, why not? And that sort of thing, so. Love that, it's money math. Just making sure, keeping us all Ex in line. Exactly. Nothing too crazy on there. Exactly. What's this $400 charge Ex at McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> At 12 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? What's going on? Um, exactly. So if, if you were, if you're like one of your parents or your siblings was going to like ask you, like, you know, if somebody asked them, like, what, what does happy do? What, what do you think they would say? Um, they'll, they'll basically say that I'm kind of that, that police officer that kind of, <laughs> you know, <laughs> bugs everybody and say, hey, you know, why did you spend money here? You know, what, what was the cause? Right. right? Yeah. Like I, I'm constantly on, on top of, you know, the, the finance aspect of things we, we, we need that you know everybody needs some accountability in their exactly. life exactly <laughs> all right so what what uh this question is like why do you come to work you know other than a paycheck because that's obviously everybody wants to get paid but what what gets you uh, up and coming to work in the morning i love that question i honestly pride myself in coming to the office you know this i, I come in the office every day yeah. i mean if, if we were look if we were look at the attendance i think i'll probably 
Be besides, <laughs> besides Jay Paul and Shelly, yeah. I'm probably the one who comes to the office all the time just because I love the culture. I love being around people. People there actually care about your success and your growth and, and being, you know, young on the young side, right? Yeah. You know, I, I love coming in and learning, right? Like I'm a sponge. If, if I have a question, I'm constantly asking and everybody's there to help you out. So the, the environment, the culture, the people is why I come to work every single day and I love it. That's awesome. Yeah, I can definitely always uh, plan to look over at the accounting office and see yeah. you sitting in there. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> Uh, we need to have a perfect attendance award now that I think about it. That'd we should, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, so did you want to grow up to be an accountant or did you have something else? No, no, for? no, dude. I, I mean, that's not something that I, I wanted to be. I wanted to be a professional soccer player, right? Oh, yeah, um, yeah I, <laughs> you know how many people say that. But I wanted to be a professional soccer player ever since I was younger. Um, but um, I realized that I wasn't that good when I got to college. You right. both. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we were competing. I'm like, I'm good. I'm, I can play college soccer, but I've seen a, a higher level and I'm not there. And so that's always been my dream to play a professional soccer player. That's right. a disheartening truth for all of us. You know, yeah. if uh, half the office had it their way, we'd all be professional athletes. Oh, yeah. There's a lot. We did a step challenge. And that's when I realized I'm like, oh, my God, people are actually, there were athletes. There. Some people had 300,000, 400,000 steps. Alexa had 300,000, 400,000 something she steps. Does, she's a superhuman. She doesn't she, count. I don't know why they let her participate <laughs> in the step contest. And she, we were in a team where it was me, Alexa, Jay. We were like, this is a bunch of athletes. We just destroyed the other team. Yeah, don't use Alexa as the bar. It's unfair for anybody. <laughs> just, you know, like maybe move it down to like somebody like, like me. You know, I don't even participate. <laughs> so <laughs> it, life will be a lot easier that way. Um, so <laughs> you wanted be a professional soccer player i think yeah we have a really strong trend of um athletes and then their half of the office wanted to be like a doctor yeah um so we could have had like a bunch of athletes and a bunch of people to like fix us up when we injured ourselves inevitably uh, oh that would have been cool dude. <laughs> <laughs> um so what's your favorite workplace tradition how long have you been here now oh did i just celebrated my anniversary this month on the 14th one year one year that's unbelievable and so i couldn't honestly i was like I can't believe I've been here for a year. It doesn't even feel like it because it's so great, right? It's, it feels quick, doesn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I feel um, like I just started, so. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's been like close to four, so. Oh, yeah. You can't, you can't back, so. I mean, it's, it's great because you, when I when I first started, right, yeah. you you left like maybe a week or two weeks later. You, when was your one year? On the 14th of June. Yeah, and I left like about a month later. Yeah, so we met and, I'm, and then you were like, yeah, I'm leaving. I'm like. And then I see you like, <laughs> what, three months later? I'm, I'm like, I'm here. <laughs> so, yeah, it just goes on to show just how great the company is, right? Like, you know, if you can go and then realize like, hey, you know, you don't find this anywhere else. And, you know, yeah. It was, it was, it was like, honestly a shocker when I seen you in the office. I'm like. Super difficult to leave yeah. and like super easy to come back. Yeah. That's for sure. Because the people so. are always welcoming. Even when you left, we would talk about, we would talk about you all the uh, time. No, it feels like you left a family when you go. Yeah. So, I it. it, it yeah, one hundred percent. Just happy they let me come back here, and that's so why we're back on the show. I can yeah. keep doing this. Just, everything's great. It's amazing. <laughs> um, so yeah, my, what's your favorite tradition then? Ah, uh, oh, that was... been your one year that you've been here. <sighs> I know it's kind of hard because like you came on the t you know on the tenth year anniversary, and like what? the pandemic was still kind of going yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I realized that maybe this question isn't fair to like a lot of our new hires. That is, yeah, like, it, yeah. That, yeah, so I, I don't have an answer to that. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> I have that. That you just like coming into the office and that that, that works. Uh, <laughs> Tradition is attending. Uh, um, so, what do you wish people knew about you? And you know, or is there anything you enjoy doing when you're not at work that you would like to tell people? Soccer, man. I love playing soccer, watching the game, uh, watching sports uh, in general, uh, hanging out with my family. Yeah. I, I spend a lot of time with my family. If I'm not if I'm not at work, I'm, I'm you know doing something outside. Yeah. I love going. I can't I can't stay inside that long. I, I love being out outside and doing something. And do you uh, play like um, you know like rec league or anything like that? I play C my pro. Yeah. Yeah, I play C my pro. So when I graduated college, my uh, friend, the coach that I play for uh, under sixteen has a C my pro team, right? And yeah. so I you know I joined them and I'm continue on playing did man. it ever stop during the pandemic or anything no <sighs> so no. lucky yeah i know because <laughs> we need like flag football you know for all of us uh, like the china it's so hard to stay competitive and active like when you're older you know like it's so available to us like in college and yeah. high school and, and so on and then like uh 
then as you get older, it's just harder to find it. And like they're it stopped in 2020 and they haven't brought it back since. Oh, that's for the city of Plano. So if they're that watching sucks. this, you guys stink, man. There's something about it. <laughs> that sucks, man. <laughs> also, like I like the structure of you know when you play sports, you have a structure of going to work out in the morning. And so I wanted to continue that. And so when I found out that they had a team here, I was like, dude, no brainer. I, I want to join. That. I love it. Yeah. Ready for some random questions? Oh, yeah, dude. So I'm not going to ask all these. I'm just going to pick some. Go ahead. All right. I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> uh, what movie scared you as a kid? Hmm. You have, like, one that maybe haunts your nightmares to this day. For me, it's, like, Chucky. Ooh. I didn't like dolls to begin with. Ooh. Were you just fearless? I don't think that there aren't, there aren't that many things that scare me. I think based on my childhood, I, I went through so much in real life that... When I watch movies, in my mind, I'm thinking it's a movie. I don't really get scared very easily. Even when I was a child, Man. I didn't really get scared at all. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a better answer than we've gotten for anything else. <laughs> Much deeper, to be sure. Yeah. Um, all right. So if you can compare yourself to any animal, what would it be and why? Lion. I'm fast. You're fast? I'm very fast. Are you? Yeah. I used to be fast. Yeah, I mean, I run a mile about 5.30. Are you kidding me? I'm serious. So you not only be fast, but you have endurance, too. I guess you I have can't to stand me now. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the one thing with soccer. Like, when somebody tells me like soccer, I'm like, all that running, I'm like... Yeah, I mean, you have to be in shape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's, no, there's no way around it. <laughs> yeah, I bet. All right, so Lion, you should be fast. All right, we need to have a company foot race. I think it was... Uh, Somebody was telling me recently that they could beat us barefoot, and I just... Who said that? I don't want to say it was Ashley. Ashley? Yeah. No she, way. She swears she's quick. We'll do it after yeah, this we'll, interview. We'll, we'll see. And if it's not her, then I'll feel bad. But, like, <laughs> we can definitely go bug her after the show. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so, do you like superheroes at all? Mm, not really. Not really? Okay, not I'm really. not going to bug you with that one. Are you a cat or a dog person? Dog. You like dogs? Yeah. Do you have a dog? No, you know who I really like when when Archie comes in the office. Oh my God, he <laughs> cheers Archie. I love Archie. Your dog. Oh, oh my God, that's a, probably the slowest dog I ever seen. The way <laughs> I'm like, I like the long ones. <laughs> they they can't really go too far. They're not yeah. athletic. They're like a lot like me. And I don't have to do too much. You know, it's really great. I, I see why you like. Yeah. I mean, why you got that dog, dude? <laughs> Archie, though, yeah, same thing. Like, any, I was telling Kendall uh, this morning that like when they come into the office. Um, like TPS meetings, like mm -hmm. Joel will be talking and I'll just like, he'll be wandering around inevitably yeah. and I'll just pick him up, yeah. hold on to oh, him. He's sweet, man. He comes to my office all the time. I love it. He's a great dog. All right. And if we were to look in your fridge right now, what would we find? Oh, expired orange juice. <laughs> a lot of expired stuff, man. Because, you know, when you buy stuff, I'm, I live by myself, right? So when I go buy things, I'm thinking I'll eat it within what, a week or two. Is that expired milk? I'm yeah. thinking I'd drink it and then i end up you know eating in the office because we i was going out and then i end up not you know eating at home very much so i had a lot of expired milk eggs that's, uh you know it's the perfect thing i guess you come into the office a lot like they cater food all the time exactly so you, like, have to buy food exactly <laughs> so now i'm like i'm not going to the grocery store dude there's no point i get that so i totally get that all right last week right one more you good with that oh yeah i'm ready all right uh, if you, what would your last meal be? If, the, if you knew the world was ending, you know, in, in a couple of hours and you could have anything to eat, what would it be? I love that question. Rice and beans. <laughs> Rice and beans. <laughs> that, that's the only thing we used to eat back home. So people, when people are like, I'm on a diet, only eat rice and beans. I'm like, that's the only thing we could eat. Is it like seasoned rice and beans? Like what's? Fried rice. Fried rice. Yeah, fried rice, beans, and chicken. What kind of beans? Uh, pinto. Pinto beans. Yep. Fried rice and chicken. Yep. Is, is that like, and that's like a hometown meal? Yep. I guess maybe we need to have like a everyone cooks their favorite dish like potluck. I think that, thing. didn't you guys do that? We I wasn't the, in town uh, when you had, when you got when they have something similar to that. I don't know if we did the dip the oh, dip uh, contest for Cinco de Mayo. Okay, and everyone made their favorite dip. Yeah, um, yeah. Someone named Alex who might be in the room made a really just okay <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. <laughs> Janelle had a good one too. <laughs> Yours was good too. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's amazing. And, uh, it looked good when it came out of the oven, and then I put it into a crock pot and mixed it, and it just looked like throw up. And I, was not gonna, <laughs> I froze it for a couple months, and I was like, "Why am I saving this? I just threw the whole thing away." And just one of those things, you know. Yeah. Happy. Thank you so much for joining us today. I know this, you know, uh, you're busy. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I asked you a couple months ago, you're like, maybe next month, maybe next yeah, month. Like, they keep you on your toes. So I appreciate you taking time away from your job, away from the office. Yeah. Yeah, I think the first time I've seen you outside the office. You pretty much live there, man. That's true. Um, and, and doing this with us. 
Thank you. Um, thank you for watching another episode of the Leadership Podcast. Uh, you can find out more about our company by going to thevested.com, and you can watch more episodes by going to YouTube and simply searching the Leadership Talk Show or the Vested Group. I'm Johnny Zielinski, all by myself. This is Happy and Dejo. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.